welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to get a storage auction today. But first, we are going to start off with some puppy clips. Uh, I know some of you guys love my puppies, and uh, I'll just show you some clips of them. If you don't want to see my puppies, just skip ahead like a 30 seconds or 45 seconds, and we'll get started. All right, guys, so I am in the computer, as you can see. Um, we are going through auctions right now. I'm going to buy one. I would not buy it for $5 on an auction, but I am really desperate for a, a unit. And I just bought it. I just bought a unit right there. You see that? You see that? Guys, I would normally never buy a $75 unit on Storage Treasures, which I wouldn't even pay $5 for in person. But... I've been going to auctions for about a month now, trying to find another one. We were about to go get those unit, that unit, those units, I got one. We're gonna go get that unit and find out what's in it. Hope I chose the right one, there were six other units. Let's go find out what's in it. Talking to me right now. You guys are talking to me? Hey. They do not want me to leave without taking them. So, since the unit is so close, I will take you guys with me, okay? We'll go get the storage unit together. That sound All right, we're heading there. Like I said earlier, these guys will take no for an answer. Good? You gonna be good? Okay, we're gonna go get some storage units. I call this scene the mutt butts, because they just hang out the window and look. Ew, that's gross. All right, we're on our way. We'll finally get to that storage unit, show you guys. Let's go open this thing up. It's a lot, there's a lot in here. I, there's more than I thought there would be. Nicole's here to help, I think. So this one is turning out to be like a man unit. Like this is a, uh, this is a single guy, I think. Ooh, is a there, nice mirror. Look at that, uh, look at that. Oh, nice chair, chair for chair. you. There's games right there. This is a subwoofer. Um, yeah, there's, there's more than I thought there would be in here. Is that it's a mini fridge? Yeah, it's a mini fridge. <laughs> Stuff we're gonna sell at the garage sale. Also, mini fridges, you do not lay on their side. You only stand well, that them up. That guy knew it. He knew, he knew what he was talking about. Did you know that? Mm -mm. You didn't know that? You never lay your refrigerator oh. down on its side. Also, from watching Storage Wars, I learned the also number one rule of refrigerators is do not open a refrigerator until you move it. So. Watch through this first. Let me drag it out real quick. Take a break, guys. Take a break. Get a drink. You're working hard. You want to drink thing? There you go. Don't just bowl your way in there, Wanda. Can you put that in your car? Put it in my car, actually. I'm guessing it's fine. Two hours later. All right, so final verdict. This is a very good unit. Not really a final verdict. So I got to put this stuff back up. This is the stuff I can't take with me and come back. Good thing I lived two minutes away. I just had fun going through everything. Uh, this guy was part of uh, a Myrtle Cycle gang. I think that's a woman's coat, though. Uh, we found his uh, coat and some other stuff that... Uh, oh my gosh, these, <laughs> these are Harley jeans. I just... or Harley pants I just found. So, more solidifying the fact that he was part of the gang. Um, anyways, we're going to go pack... Come back here. It's scary because <laughs> you're going through somebody's unit that used to be in a motel gang. The real question is, do I risk it? These are unopened, right? Where's the, where's the uh, uh, 7 2018? Close enough. Oh mm, my god. So if this is actually in here, I'd actually get ready to buy a set of this for my house. So that would be cool. It just keeps getting better and better. The brand new 
John Deere boots. Look at that. And these, I don't know, those aren't, those aren't boots in there. You're home cleaning stuff out of the car. And you're just doing a weird stance right now. <laughs> this car heart boot overalls. Brand new. Uh, this is brand new. There's a bunch of brand new stuff. This is brand new. These are uh, brake jump, uh, brake drums. I can't talk. See, okay, brand new. You got brand new boots in there. Brand new shoes. Brand new everything. Hey guys, so it's day two of cleaning out this locker. I didn't get a lot done yesterday. Um, I actually found the owner of the locker and he just called me. I got a hold of him on Facebook, which you know, is the greatest part, form of uh, communication nowadays. Um, He's actually, I think, out of town for a while uh, working. But uh, yeah, the, the storage unit did not work with him at all to get his stuff back. Did not even let him, didn't, didn't give him a second chance at all. So I'm gonna give him that second chance. Meet his uh, father that lives in the local here. I feel like keeping stuff like his used work boots, his, his papers, his clothing, his daughter's clothing, uh, anything like that, it's just, <laughs> you gotta be heartless not to, do, you gotta be heartless to do that. He's also, I don't know if he's part of the Mongols. I had no idea how big of a motorcycle club, called the motorcycle gang, but a club that they really are. I don't know if I'll show you, show you personally or on camera me giving the guy stuff back. I'll try. I don't want to put anybody on a video that don't want to be. So there should be an interesting video about uh, me finding uh, a unit belonging to the biker that was in the Mongols. The Mongols, not just any, motorcycle club the mongols they're gigantic and uh i don't want to start any beef between me and the mongols man uh, i just i'm just a guy out here buying units and i uh, don't i don't mean anything bad by it yeah i'm still gonna make money off the unit because I'm, I'm putting my time and effort and i paid for the unit um but i'm not gonna be uh pinching every penny possible out of this and i don't need to because i don't do this for a full-time job let's go to the rest of the unit i got a u-haul um we're gonna get all the stuff out. I might even need a U-Haul now because if his dad comes and grabs the uh, dressers and other things, I might not even need a U-Haul. That'd be great. So we're back at the unit now. Um, we're waiting on the Mongols biker guy's dad to get here. I don't know if he's a Mongol or not. I gotta ask him. But uh, if he was, it'd be really cool. And if he is a Mongol and you're a Mongol watching this, I'm not doing this because he's a Mongol. I'm doing this because I'm nice and I like to help people. If you go back and watch my earlier videos, I usually give most of my stuff away. I find these units to women's shelters, Goodwill, uh, Salvation Army, a lot of it. So what better way to give back and not doing it at Goodwill or Salvation Army or women's shelter by giving it back to the guy that needs it the most. It's his stuff. So don't get me wrong, I kept some stuff that will actually make me money on the unit, but because uh, I, I spent a lot of time and you know I bought it and everything but I'm not gonna keep every little dime or penny I'm not, I'm not penny pinching out here I'm not greedy so we'll get to waiting for the guy to get here I'll ask him if he wants to be on film if not I'll ask him if I can do it a little far away or something I don't care yeah, you see the units pretty much full still uh, I got a Prius load out of there there but that's the the Mongol sign right there uh, there's a bunch of those throughout the unit um, so yeah, that's not the reason why I'm doing this. And if it really did terrify me, I wouldn't even reach out to him. If that makes like, I wouldn't want to be, uh, in contact with him at all. He said that he, he needed some stuff back. So, I mean, it makes me feel better. I'm not selling a, a used pair of boots for $5 at the, uh, yard sale. Okay. So he was in a bottle. Mm -hmm. 
and he had two story buildings. And he owed you. Uh... Everything here you see, I do not want any of it. So whatever he, I was trying to make a little pile where we got here for trash. There's a lot of trash in here. That obviously don't need. He's notorious for not throwing anything away. No. Two hours later. I go to, uh, if I'm going to buy anything or donate anything, I go to Salvation Army. There, well, was, was he part of the Mongols here in town? Yep. Did, did he still, still live or? Pardon me? Is he still part of them? No. no. Alright guys, so we're gonna go over what we got uh, for the end of the video. Does that, does that sound good too? Can I drink a bit? Can I drink a little bit of beer? A little cock- you guys are a little cockeyed. Let me fix you. Let me get you- okay. Alright, so what we have here is basically what I kept out of the unit. The rest I gave to the uh, family. So mess around anymore and get into this. All right, so first item, Harley Davidson hat. <laughs> it's not a hat, it's a helmet. Look at this Harley Davidson half shell, look at this. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna be putting the uh, prices of the items down below, what they go on eBay for. All right, so we have the Skelly Toes. And this is gonna be these weird looking shoes with the, the, the toes in them, and they just freak me out already looking at them. Also, who has four toes? Hey. Over here. Follow me. Okay. We have these <laughs> brand new brake drums, brake shoes, off of a don't know what. I gotta look it up. So those are pretty sweet. These are brand new. Deer boots. These John Deere boots are brand new with the receipt still in there. And they have metatarsals. These are uh, eight and a half mediums. You can find these on my eBay site if you're interested. I think it was about $200 on, on eBay. I'll be selling for about 100 This is a DVR security system setup. Eight cameras for 720p video. Uh, it's got one terabyte of hard drive space. And it goes for about $300 on eBay new. And this is brand new. Awesome. So I'll be selling it for about $200 or so. Next item, we got some uh, Harley Davidson boots. Pretty sure these are eight and a half too. Every boot I have is eight and a half. Uh, I only have two actually, so these both are eight and a half wides. Nice Harley Davidson boots, not too bad. Yeah, next up is the Samsung S2 watch. It's one of those sweet Android smart watches that I never liked, so I sold mine, so now I have another one. Uh, it looks brand new and used. It's one of those deals where you get this for free now if you go buy a new Android. Next up is a Galaxy S Note. Otter box, I'm pretty sure it's about 30 bucks or so. Nothing's fancy schmancy. All right, so now we have this Carhartt Extreme Weather uh, uh, jacket. This is brand new. We also have the brand new cover, uh, bib overalls, Carhartt that match it. These are size 35 or 34. So those are about 100 bucks a piece. I don't really know. I gotta look that up. Um, got miscellaneous tools uh, and everything else. So let me add this up and I'll get back to you on what this is worth. Alright okay, guys, so it went really well with the meetup. Uh, they left very happy. I left happy. We all left happy. So um, They got their grill, dressers, everything back. You guys he has boots, um, his work boots, his work car hearts, his work clothes. So I kept one, two, three, four, f like less than 10 items out of the entire unit and gave the rest to them. Uh, I made out good and they made out happy too, so we're both happy. Hey, if I'm not here next week or next month with a video, you know, the Mongols got me, they killed me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so the guy was a prospect in the Mongols. Uh, until he got in some trouble with the law enforcement and they kicked him out. So if you know what a prospect is, it's it's like one of those, uh, it's almost like an intern if you look at it. Uh, you're, you're trying to get into the gang, the club, 
so say don't say gang, you say club. Uh, say trying to get into the club and uh, he didn't make it in. So really ever a member of the club, but he was getting close to be. Very exciting either way to go through that unit and then be able to give it back to the uh, owners. Guys, if you want to buy anything in my uh, videos here, they're gonna be really cheap and they're gonna be really coming up very soon. I sell for a third of the price. If you sell anything you're gonna want, uh, better get on there and buy it. Get on there, check out my eBay link down below. If you wanna donate for my charity, I'll have a link down below, hopefully by the end of this video. Thanks guys for watching. You guys have subscribed so much lately and it's awesome. I try to keep these videos entertaining uh, to everyone. See you in the next video. Hopefully it's just as exciting as this one, finding a biker gang unit. Who knew? Who knew? See you guys.